On this ancient island lies some of the most amazing natural beauty in all of Japan. This is Yakushima. The journey to Yakushima begins in the shadow of Sakurajima, a large active volcano in the port city of Kagoshima. From there, you have the option to take a fast ferry or a slower, cheaper ferry to the island. Depending on which option you choose, your trip will take between two and four hours. But don't worry, there are plenty of things to see along the way. As you approach Yakushima, the first thing that stands out is the rugged and mountainous terrain. The highest peak here is nearly two kilometers above sea level, making it the highest in the region of Kyushu. Couple that with an island that is only 500 square kilometers, and you'll find yourself looking at some very steep climbs. Yakushima is a wet place, an island of rain. Here, it is not uncommon to top 200 or even 300 millimeters of rain in a single day. It's quite possible to have the average annual rainfall of London in under 24 hours, or that of Seattle in two days. Days without rain, like you see in this video, are very rare indeed. Spring water from the island's interior is some of the softest water in the world. A local bottling company, Jomon Sui, claims a hardness of 10, with only 3 milligrams of calcium per liter. To put that into perspective, Evian has a hardness of 291, with 78 milligrams per liter of calcium. With all that water, there is no shortage of amazing waterfalls to be seen on Yakushima. But if you really want to discover Yakushima, you need to follow that water upstream. deep into the forests of the national parks where you can find the heart of Yakushima. Yakushima gained world heritage status in 1993. One fifth of the island is registered as a world natural heritage site of natural beauty. Yakushima exhibits rich flora with some 1,900 species and subspecies, including the ancient specimens of the Sugi, Cryptomera japonica. 94 of these floral species are endemic. The fauna of the island is also diverse, including 16 mammal species, four mammal subspecies, including the Yakushima macaque and the Yakushima deer, which are both endemic to the island. One of the most popular ways to experience Yakushima is by hiking the Jomon Sugi Cedar Trail. Taking a solid 8 to 10 hours of walking, ladder climbing and rock hopping. The 
hike requires an early start if you're keen to finish it in one day. Along the way, you'll be able to see sugi trees. Sugi trees become yakusugi when they are deemed to be a thousand years older or more. Sugi under a thousand years old are called kosugi. The most famous of the yakusugi is jomonsugi, which is estimated to be anywhere from 2,000 to 7,000 years old. Jomonsugi is massive. The tree has a height of 25.3 meters or 83 feet and a trunk circumference of 16.4 meters or 54 feet. It has a volume of approximately 300 square meters, 11,000 cubic feet, making it the largest conifer in all of Japan. If you aren't keen to only spend a day in the forest, there are camping huts that are free to use and pitch a tent next to it around the park. A perfect way to enjoy the forest at night, to stargaze, to wake up to some of the most amazing morning views anywhere. forest is home to all kinds of wildlife, and in an effort to keep things as close to nature as possible, please refrain from feeding them. Also remember that everything you take into the parks needs to leave with you, including food scraps and even your own waste. If trekking with a pack of gear isn't your thing, don't worry. There are many things to enjoy straight out of your car or bus around the island. Oki no Taki, or Oki Falls, is a powerful waterfall with an 88 meter drop that was selected in 1996 to be part of Japan's top waterfalls list. The falls are only a short walk from the parking area and easily viewed. Just be careful as the rocks close to the lagoon can be slippery. Hirauchi Kaichu Onsen is a very rare undersea hot spring. It's possible to bathe twice a day, around two hours before and after the low tide. The onsen is unisex, public, and swimming suits are not allowed while bathing. With water temperature around 45 degrees Celsius, it's a simple sulfur hot spring that's said to be good for rheumatism. All along the coast, you can find various beaches and small shrines to visit, as well as amazing local restaurants. The coastal road around the island offers some amazing roads through the forest where you can see monkeys and deer as well as some spectacular coastal vistas. Yakushima is a wild place, a 
place of rugged beauty and friendly people. It is an island with something to offer everyone. All it asks in return is that we respect it. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe and ring the bell for future videos.